Mom, where are you right now? You have the day off from your part-time job today, right? When I came home from school today, you weren't home, and it's getting late now, and I still haven't heard anything from you. Did you have to go to the grocery store or something and got sidetracked? Oh, so you're already home from school now, huh? Welcome home, Anna. Where are you, Mom? Are you at the store now? Or did you end up having to work today after all? I made something small for myself to eat tonight since you weren't home. But if you plan on making something soon for me, I'll hold off from eating. What time are you thinking you'll be home? You really are such a self reliant kid, aren't you? <laughs> I can tell that even without me there, you'll be able to handle yourself. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, Anna. I know it's wrong for me to do this out of nowhere, but starting now, your mom is moving out to start her new life with the person she was destined for. The person you were destined for, huh? And starting now, you're moving out? What are you talking about, Mom? You're going to be coming home tonight, right? From now on, your mom will be living in a separate house from you. <laughs> I had tried asking him many times now if he'd take a kid, but he really just does not want you around. Not even a single compromise could be made for you to come along. That's why from now on, you'll be living by yourself there. <laughs> huh? But you will be capable of that, right? You're in your final year of high school, and you have stayed at home all the time by yourself while cooking and cleaning up. Also, you're not even planning on going to college next, but just getting out there to find a job, right? So once you have that job, I like to think it's the perfect time for you to live on your own. By having me leave you now, you'll be ready for the day to come. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about, Mom? This is insane! First of all, you were the one who told me not to go to college because we didn't have the money for it. That's why I'll have to go out and find a job once I've graduated. And what the heck do you think you're doing leaving your daughter like this, who is still in high school, to go and be with another man? This is all way too crazy for even me to understand right now. Oh. <laughs> Where is that man of yours even living right now? I want to go and see him right now, so tell me his address. If you both want to live together that badly, then at least let me live with you both until I've graduated high school. Or better yet, how about you stay home with me for the rest of the year and once I've graduated, you can run off with him. We aren't able to wait for that day to come, so I'm not telling you where he lives. <laughs> Are you serious? Ah, one other thing for you. I'm taking all of your dad's savings with me. I need it in order to fund this new life I'll have with my boyfriend. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're taking it all? What? He really did. I just looked in the banking app and all the money from his account is gone. And you, and you took his checkbook off the desk as well. All of his papers and everything are gone. I'm going to make sure all of that money goes to a very important cause. <laughs> Would you stop screwing around, Mom? Do you have any freaking idea what you're doing right now? You're just leaving your daughter here while you take all of Dad's savings and run off with another man? Is that really something a mom does? Before I was a mom, I was a single woman. Your dad became sick one day, and soon after, he kicked the can. And he left us all of that life insurance money, as well as everything in his savings. As a mom, I worked my butt off so much that I think I deserve all of that money as a reward. So that's why I'm taking it all and going to live my previous, more exciting life as a single woman again. I was never against you having a boyfriend or anything like that, though, Mom. I was completely fine with you going on dates with the man and even said it would be all right to marry him if you wanted to. I even allowed you guys to plan out that vacation during the time of my graduation ceremony this year, meaning you wouldn't even be coming to see me move on in life. Not once was I ever saying that you couldn't live that life, yet this is how you're going to repay me for all of that? Well then, how about this time you allow me to leave the house and move in with my boyfriend, all right? <laughs> you have always been such a loving and caring daughter, Anna. <laughs> no freaking way. You have already been working a part-time job after school every day, right? So you shouldn't have a problem with money at the moment. Now my boyfriend is waiting for me, so I really have to go. 
We're going out for drinks tonight from his house, and he's told me to come with him in my best dress. Let's both enjoy our new lives of being on our own again. <laughs> bye bye. Again? Una, this is about your upcoming wedding and what you plan to do with it. I want you to decide how you'd like this wedding day any way you'd like. You can do something more traditional, or go with more modern with it as well. You don't have to worry at all with what my husband was saying. What? Are you sure that's okay? But... But he said he really wanted this wedding to be as traditional as possible. Just the other day when we were all having dinner together, he made it very apparent that that's what he wants. No, oh, he was just acting that way because he was drunk. He has no right to be spewing his own opinion like that about his son's wedding. I'm so sorry that my husband was being rude that night. You don't have to worry about him. I was just assuming that he was trying to give us some recommendations there. Also, all of those pictures from your guys' wedding back in the day were so beautiful. Your husband was going on about how beautiful you looked all night in your wedding dress under the church's stained glass. That's probably why he would like us to have our wedding in an old church as well. He doesn't want me in any of the newer styles of dress because he thinks the older traditional style would suit me just like it suited you. He really shouldn't have been going on about all of that embarrassing stuff in front of the both of you, though. I'm very sorry that he was going on and on about all that during dinner. My family tends to be full of people that are just really stupid about some things. People that don't know the right times to say things as idiotic as that. But I always like to think that a man that brags about how good his wife looked and wants others to look just as good are great types of men. Also, Gabe talks about this a lot as well. He says that the both of you are so open and close to people that it's embarrassing for him, but that's why he loves you guys. Oh my. Gabe has said something like that about us? Seeing all of you being so close to one another like that makes you guys the best kind of family. Seeing you all laughing at the dinner table and sharing stories all night put a huge grin on my face. Well, thank you so much for saying that. But you're a part of this family now as well, so consider yourself just as embarrassing as the rest of us. Honestly, don't you ever feel left out of our family like that again, okay? <laughs> Bella? That all was a little bit off-topic. Anyways, just make sure that you both have the kind of wedding that will make you guys happy, alright? No matter how you guys plan to have it, I'm sure it will be a very wonderful time. And no matter if it's traditional or modern, my husband and I will be there to celebrate it with all of our heart. Thank you so much for saying that, Bella! <laughs> I'm so happy and lucky to have a cute daughter like you now. I look forward to all the wonderful memories we'll be making with one another in the future. Congratulations on the marriage, Anna. You seriously got married to a rich man? Oh, <laughs> amazing. Just what I expected from my little girl. You really caught yourself a reliable man indeed. Ooh. <laughs> what? M Mom? Oh no, why are you reacting so boringly to me, huh? You should be shouting with joy right now because of this long-awaited text from me, right? <laughs> long-awaited text? That's not at all how I feel about it. You had left me for ten whole years without ever saying anything to me, and out of nowhere I've had to get a text from you? And how do you know about my marriage? Wow, so it's really been a decade already? To me, time's gone by so fast that I didn't even notice. <laughs> it honestly feels like just last year that I left you in that house all alone to run off. <laughs> huh? Ah, now you tell me how you went about finding such a nice man as that. Ooh. I heard a friend of mine that you'd be getting married, but I never thought you'd land yourself a man with a lot of money. Ooh. Any woman would be so jealous of what you found, Anna. <laughs> would you stop talking about my husband and I like that? You're being rude to both him and his family right now. But I'm only being honest, aren't I? 
I looked into his family a bit more after hearing about him, and my, oh my, does he live in such a massive home. The kind of house that's just been around for centuries, and from what I've heard, his family deals in real estate as well. Also, a lot of the other family members, like his uncles and aunts, all run their own companies. And if I'm not mistaken, a gift being given to you by his parents might be a penthouse of some kind. Oh! <laughs> You're kidding me. You were able to find out about that present as well? I'm so jealous of all the things you have there. Oh. I never once thought that you'd be able to have such a wonderful life after marriage as that. Your mom is deeply jealous of all that. Oh. <laughs> Why are you so jealous of me? Haven't you been living that fun and exciting life as a single woman that you left me behind for? And I heard through the rumors that you ended up getting married to that man you left me for as well. Oh, so you found out about that. Well, that means we can speed up my story a bit. As of right now, your mom and him, we ended up getting a divorce, unfortunately. <laughs> what? Seriously? I left you at that house to be with him because he said he didn't want me being a long kid. Yet, after so many different excuses of why he still couldn't marry me, I went and handed in our marriage papers for us without telling him. But then he just began cheating on me with other women and told me if I didn't like that, then we need a divorce. What the hell is wrong with that guy? Mom, you actually fell in love with a man like that? Oh, his face and everything were just my type. So for many, many years, I just let him cheat on me all the time, but then last year, he got into a car accident and was living in a wheelchair. I'm not taking care of some cripple, so I went and got that divorce from him. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? What are you talking about? You mean to say, why does everything bad happen to this poor little woman, right? <sighs> My first husband died soon after becoming really sick. And then my next husband that I love so much gets into an accident and is paralyzed from the waist down. All I want is to be happy, but things like this just keeps happening to me. Then go out and have a happy life by yourself. I found my own form of happiness already, so you should go out and find yours as well. I can see that you found your happiness. A lot of people say your husband is a really nice man and he has all that money. You seem to have become even more happy than your own mother before she could find happiness of that type. However, because you have all of that now, there should be something you want to say to me, right? <laughs> what? Something I want to say to you? Who should you be thanking for having such a happy life now, such as that? Oh, I like to think you should be thanking me for giving birth to you so long ago. But... That's just what I think. <laughs> huh? Since you should be so thankful of me, I would like you to start sending me $3,000 a month. Ooh. It's because of me that you're able to be married to such a rich man, right? So, I think it's time for you to repay the favor with some gratification towards me. Huh? Why do you think I have to start sending you $3,000 each month now? And what's this about my marriage being thanks to you? You have no freaking right claiming you're to be thanked for my marriage after you got up and left me all alone 10 years ago. And you also went and took every penny dad had saved up for us and ran. Thanks a lot for leaving me with nothing. I did not leave you with nothing. You have yourself a man with all kinds of money right now. And since I was the one that gave birth to you, I should be given something in return. Had I chosen to never have you, then you wouldn't be here right now enjoying your life with that man. So you should be giving something back to me as a show of thanks of all that right now, right? What? Also, at the moment your mom has just lost her boyfriend and is very lonely. And back when I was with your dad, I was just a housewife and I would only work part-time a few days out of the month when I was with my second husband. There's no way I can support myself on my own now without having any work experience. Don't you feel that you should be helping your mom out right now? I don't care about what's happened to you. That's all what you get for leaving me behind 10 years ago. 
You are really starting to take away from your cuteness by talking to me like that. If you keep speaking to me like that, I won't come to your wedding. Is that what you want? Huh? You don't have a dad anymore, and if your mom doesn't even show up on you for you that day, then what kind of image will that give everyone of you? People would think that there's something wrong with you, and your marriage would be ruined. That's why today, I wanted to talk with you to make sure you'd be paying me for all I've done so that I'd be able to come to your wedding. I never planned on inviting you to my wedding in the first place. You're such an idiot. <laughs> Even if you don't want me there, you'll be embarrassing your husband's family, right? Oh, I bet because his family is so rich, there's someone who would hate to see a parentless woman being married into their family. And everyone would think that something is wrong with you and that you'd be better off single because your mom never even came to your wedding. <laughs> um, about that. <laughs> oh. Now that I think about it, give me $5,000 and I'll come to that wedding for you. Are you kidding me? Now you're asking me to pay you money to come to my wedding? I like to think $5,000 is a cheap asking price for not letting your husband's family to be embarrassed there. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll be looking forward to that money. <laughs> if you want your own mom coming to that wedding to save your marriage, then pay me $5,000. And after that, you'd better be paying me $3,000 a month in order for me to take care of myself. <laughs> Please and thank you. <laughs> what are you trying to do with my daughter right now? What? What do you mean she needs to pay you $5,000 to come to her wedding as her mom? I wonder what position you're in that makes you think you have the power to be asking for something like that. I will be going to the wedding as her mother as well, so there is no need for someone like you to be there. But what the hell is this? Who the hell do you think you are calling my daughter yours? Who the hell are you? I am Anna's husband's mother. Perhaps... I should call myself her mother-in-law. What? Right now, I'm with Anna as we take a look at the wedding venue. And as we were walking around, she has been looking at her phone the whole time. I was wondering what was going on that was so important to her, and so I asked about that. And that's when she told me her mom from ten years ago was back. Oh my. So this is the mom from that really rich family then. <laughs> I would just like to say congratulations to the both of us for having such my daughter marry your son. Mm -hmm. I always knew my daughter Anna was so cute like myself, but I never thought she'd be able to find herself such a wealthy man. Uh -huh. I hope that from now on, both of us mothers can have a long and loving relationship with one another. <laughs> no way. I'm going to have to say no to you. I honestly wonder why I had to hear all of that coming from one of you low-life people. Uh-huh. And what's this about your daughter being cute just like you? Oh, Anna is much more like me because I actually am cute. There's not a single thing about her that resembles you, so I'm not sure what you're talking about. <laughs> what, what the hell is going on here, you? Calling me a love life like that? And why do you think she looks more like you than she does her actual mother? I'm the one that gave birth to that child. Yes, of course that's very true. But is there anything else about yourself besides the fact that you gave birth to her that makes you her mother? I don't believe so, considering you are such a disaster of a woman and would never have a chance of being part of my family. <laughs> Do you understand that most kids will take after their mother if raised correctly by them? Well, right now Anna has taken nothing from you. So, I don't quite get what you mean by her looking just like you. <laughs> Excuse me? If anything, Anna has recently resembled me so much. Normally, my husband is always complimenting my smile and how much it makes him happy. Well, recently, my son has been saying the same thing about Anna's smile, and that makes her very much resemble me in a way, right? I suppose being together for so long like this really made us the same person. 
I like to think we're twins at times, even. Her having entered our family has really made all of us happy. And thanks to her and I getting along so well, there are no complaints whatsoever here. Well, what the hell is all this? All you are is her mother-in-law, so stop trying to act like you're her actual mother. You're pissing me off doing that. And you're upsetting me by trying to say you're her real mother after all you've done to hurt this cute little girl. Oh, leaving her behind like that when she was still in high school. All oh, so that you could run off with your man. And ten years later, asking her to pay you back for that. I'm starting to think you never actually grew into an adult during your life. I did not leave that girl behind. I was just letting her grow up on her own for a little bit. And a high school senior, no matter how close they are to graduating, is still a child to most parents. So you really shouldn't be saying that you just forced that child in to live on her own just like that. And what was this about you wanting $5,000 to come to her wedding, as well as 3000 each month from her? Oh, I'm sorry, but none of us want you coming to her wedding. So there will be no $5,000 coming your way. Excuse me? My family, my husband, and I, my son, and all of his friends do not want someone who treats Anna like that coming to this wedding. We don't want you coming anywhere near us at all, actually. So please, don't feel the need to worry about her any. Anna has all of us right here now, giving her all the love and care that you never bothered to show her. With that, I'm saying goodbye to you. From now on, my family will be taking very good care of Anna. Thank you so much for what you did yesterday, Bella. And I'm really sorry for what my mom was saying. You don't need to be apologizing for what that freak said. And were you able to make it home safe last night? I know that we stayed out pretty late looking over the wedding venue and everything, so I just wanted to make sure your mom didn't come after you at all. And she didn't bother to text you anymore after that night? Everything was fine last night, and even now I'm doing okay. Well, that's wonderful. We all really want to make sure you're all right considering you're a part of this family now. So if there's anything going on, please let us know right away. Thank you for letting me know that. I am so happy to be married to your son and to have you as my mother-in-law. And I'm hap and I'm so happy to have myself a cute daughter. Now, the next time we go looking at some of the wedding venues, let's put our phones away and only focus on the wedding itself. <laughs> You let me into your wedding right now. I am your mother. What the hell is going on here? Not letting your own mother into that wedding. So you really came after all. Some of my friends were telling me about how you were on the move again, but I didn't actually think you'd try and barge your way in. What do you mean I was on the move? How is it wrong for me to want to come to my daughter's wedding? Just stop trying with all of that and let me into the wedding right now. I'm your mother, and I was the one that gave birth to you. So, if you're going to be joining a wealthy family, then I'm coming with you. We would love that you leave already. You're not my mother at all. What the hell do you think you're saying? You think you can be the only one who gets to have money, and that you can just get rid of your own mother? The one who got rid of me first was you, ten years ago. Shut the hell up! I can't believe that my own daughter is trying to throw me away, though. Oh, you think I'm just going to allow that to happen? You are making your dad in heaven very sad right now. I'm not so sure about that. From what I hear him telling me, he's saying to get rid of you as soon as possible. That's what he told me long ago, actually. What? After you had run off and left me at home all alone, I looked around the house a lot. You went and took all of Dad's money, and I was worried about how I'd be able to pay for anything to eat. So while I was running around searching through everything, I found something Dad left behind for me. A note written by him. A note written by your dad? For you? Yes. He had written it while he was in the hospital the first time, and when he was let out for a little bit, he hid it in the house. 
He told me that things were not looking good with you and asked me to cut ties to you as soon as I could. He then went on to say that he'd pray for me to live a life of freedom without you taking advantage of me. Excuse me? He also wrote a little bit more, asking that if I ever needed anything to call this number. It was the number of one of his friends written on the card. Dad had left that friend with some of his money before he passed away, it seemed. So I went ahead and used that money along with the scholarships that I had to get myself into college. You, you actually ended up going to college? I was able to study a lot more things and that's where I met my husband. Then we both decided to get married and he showed me his parents. And that's when I learned that my husband's dad was one of dad's friends this whole time. What? You, your dad was friends with a man as wealthy as your husband's dad? He told me the two of them had been friends forever. After high school, they had split up for a little while, but that whole time they made sure to write letters back and forth. So he's an old friend of your dad? But... So here's the thing, Mom. I'm going to do as Dad had prayed for, and I will leave you behind forever so that I may be free of you. So please, leave this wedding venue for everyone. And have yourself a good life without me. But wait a second, Anna. I will not leave your life like you're asking, so please just let me stay with you. Let's both enjoy our new lives of being on our own again. After I was done talking with my mom, she tried to force herself into the wedding even more, but Bella made sure to hire extra security for the wedding who went on her signal and tackled my mom down. They tied her hands and feet up and dragged her into one of the back rooms where she would stay for the rest of the wedding. After the wedding was over with, some of my friends and family on her side went and took her away for us. And since that happened, I've not heard another thing from her. From friends I talked with later on, they said she was in debt from borrowing all kinds of money. So those family and friends that took her away made up a plan to get her life back on track. They went and had her start working for a company related to some of the family. And during the night, she's working as a dish cleaner at a local bar. Every time she made a paycheck, all of that money was put into paying off her debts. And if she is to ever try and run away, the family has made sure to always keep an eye on her and be ready to grab her before she can even get away. As for myself and my husband, after that wedding had ended, we knew my mom wouldn't be a problem for me anymore, so we both took off on our honeymoon. The trip was being paid for by his parents as well, but I felt bad having them cover all the costs. So I made sure to get them all kinds of gifts and souvenirs while we were in Dubai. These days, we're back at our penthouse where I'm working part-time at a jewelry store, and the other part of my time is dedicated to being a housewife. Another promise I made to myself is to never stop working, no matter how much money my husband has, because I want to make sure that I never end up like my mom.